Hello survivalists, welcome back. Today I will show you how to make a safe workroom. Um, this is especially for servers where you deal with uh, some players and you have a kind of lobby or something, a central point where the player can go to. This is a place where the people, especially the new player, can start to work. You can see here I have a pressure plate and some workbench and the camp station. And for this room, I use a mechanism to lock the player inside. So you can see here, I'm using the pressure plate. And how to, to use this, how to build this safe room, I will show you now. So first of all, we need not so many materials. Um, the common is um, this kind of, um, of gate, the electric gate you can build in the workbench. When you have the workbench, of course, um, but I think when you are the admin from the server, you can select it just from the creative menu and uh, use it to build or as a prefab. And of course, uh, a wire tool and some electric source. And we will use this um, pressure blade for as a sensor. Okay, because we cannot do invert the signal, we will use this door in this direction. It will point into the safe room. As you can see here, so I will place it. Then we use one block, in my case to the right. I use this shape here. So and you can see this little gap in between the door from and the, the glass. So here I will use these blocks uh, like a wall. Here also we make a small border. Of course, the most important is there should not be any holes, any gaps. Uh, otherwise, um, some other player can come to grieve the inside from the room. Okay, you can see here I can cross the gap from outside. This is pretty possible. The door is closed. This is um, this need to stay open. So I will put the pressure plate in here. Yeah, in the middle of the room. So. And also, of course, as, um, the source, an electric source. We will use here a battery pack connected to the plate. Take a look, yeah, it's um, on. So then from the plate to the door. And you can see here, I will change it fastly from, uh, from, from triggered to always. So this means when I step on it, it don't will lose electricity. And you can see here what I mean. From this side, no person can cross. So. This is secure, so but here is open. So now we will place a wall here, and as you can see, now we cannot go inside even more. What is a little bit stupid? Okay, I will go here through the wall, thanks to the god mode, and I will set again to triggered. So always, when some person stands now on this blade, it will stay closed. It will close the room. The beatbird can come in here. And from here to reach all the other tools they need to. Of course, this means also when the person is um, logging out or get kicked or get killed or anyway starving to death or whatever, have bleeding. Um, and also after the restart, the reboot from the server, there is no, no trigger from the sensor. So the door will stay open and is, the, all the tools will be accessible to the other players. So with this, you can make some pleasure, especially to the new gamers, to the new players uh, joining your server to have a nice, to have a nice appearance from your server and to give some possibilities to survive. Here you can see I was put, I put some tools inside. I pulled also a second room. I think two are enough is the, um, depending on how populated is the server. You can build several of these rooms. And um, yeah, here yeah, I put some concrete mixer and some some fire. And of course, this is the most important a person needs in the first day if uh, they don't want to play really pretty vanilla and alone. But of course, if they want to do it, they will they will stay vanilla. Also, I was putting here my electric source into the into the floor because I don't like to have the wires around. And I I was putting, of course, a roof because if this is open anywhere, somebody can come just to grieve it. Yeah, so if you want to come to take a look how this is looking, you are um, invited to 
join my server is on thehealthgate.eu. You find the link uh, to the site or to the server down in the description. If you have some suggestions or improve to the improvements from this um, from this workroom, you can leave it in the comment. I'm always really happy when somebody gives me some comments about my ideas to build. If you like my videos, please leave me a comment, subscribe, and try to hit the bell if it's possible. To